Greetings, Planeswalkers. This is Ken Nagel. Let's play some duels. I've got with me Tom Lapilli. Hello, I am a magic developer. And I'm a magic designer. I'm over here on the left playing the Master of Shadows deck. It's a vampire deck. I am playing the Eons of Evil deck over here on the right. I am told that it is three colors. I believe it is also red. Is that right? Yeah, it's got red missing. So, yeah, we're, we're missing red. Oh, should we talk about opening hands? Yeah. Uh, you talk about your hand first. So, my hand has Swamp, 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 Pulse Tracker, another Pulse Tracker, Child of Night, Disfigure. So this hand's pretty good. I'm going to keep this hand. Alright, let's look at my hand. I've got an island, a swamp, so that's two of our three colors. Plague Beetle, that's exciting because well, one of our opponents is black, which we haven't told you about yet. A Merchant of Secrets, a Wanderer's Twig, which will get me my third color, which is exciting. A Terror, and a Zombify. So I'm happy with this because I'll be able to get all three of my deck's colors. So I'm going to keep my hand, too. All right. So we'll be first. We've got Swamp Island. Uh, I just played the wrong land. I should have played a swamp. But no big deals. I'll just play my Wanderer's Twig this turn instead. Yeah, we'll pretend we meant to do that. Yeah. Elspeth doesn't know. Liliana doesn't know. Let me look at which Pulse Tracker I want to cast. How about this one? Oh, that one's fine. Alright, we got some attacks. Not enough mana. For turn two. Let's see what Liliana and Elspeth do. Probably nothing. Uh-oh. Golden Glow Moth. Golden Glow Moth. That's uh, quite a bummer. I think we'll be alright. Alright. I have faith. Ooh. Wow. I don't know, which of us drew a better card? I drew I think, Vampire Nocturnus. I, I actually yeah. designed this card in Magic 20... Uh, when was <laughs> Vampire Nocturnus? 2010. 2010. 2010. Excellent. And I drew an enormous monster. And I, it's Goliath Sphinx from World Wake, which I actually didn't design. Yeah, that was, that was us. Yeah, you'd think I would have designed Goliath Sphinx. Well, I only have one choice of a land to play, so I'm going to play a land. And I'm going to go ahead and play this Plague Beetle. See, I've got a Terror over here, but it's kind of silly to Terror that Golden Glow Moth, because almost anything we, ha we have will run over it. So I'm just going to play out my Plague Beetle. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Wanderer's Twig, too. All right. Uh, how do I so do this? You just you click on the box. Oh, I click on the box. Where do I get? All right. I get a mountain. All right. It's my turn to play Child of Night. So we got one attacks. It's Pulse Tracker. Yeah. Pulse Tracker for the team. Let's see if Elspeth decides to cash in that Golden Glow Moth. I guess she doesn't. Alright, First Blood. Yeah. What's our team name? I don't know. Is it Designer and Developer? D&D? &D? That's... That's not the game we work on. Well, it'll be D&D &D for now. Until you think of something better. How about R&D? R&D. That right. sounds better. They got all the stops. Pacifism for Plague Beetle. I think... Oh no. What are we going to do about this Drudge Skeleton over know. here? This thing regenerates, so it's going to oh, block oh, our dudes oh. a lot. Oh, I that's what we're going to do. For that. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and play my land. Alright. I like, I like the disfigure. Sounds right. That you thought of. Yeah, I'm only paying attention to my hand. I'm glad, glad I've got a second head here. Well, the only creature I can play is this little Merchant of Secrets guy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. We've got many 1-1s one on our team. And I drew another 1-1 one -one of this Plague Beetle. All right. Just like the one that got pacified. We have backup. 
All right, let's get in with some... Oh, I can't get in with my guy. Well, just vampires for now. Yep, just vampires. Um. Yeah, I'm going to need to draw a land over here. I've got big, dumb cards like Goliath Sphinx that hey, I'm not going to be able dumb. to play right it's now. It's super awesome. It's awesome. But I'm going to need more lands to cast it. Well, that's all. That's I'm why saying. they're super awesome. Because they're hard to cast. Underworld, Underworld dreams. dreams. Does that get both of us? It sure does. Oh, oh no. We're at 32 to their 22. And a angelic wall. I think we can handle that. We can handle angelic wall. All right. All right. So but as long as you're not scared, we'll be fine. I think we're all right. See, I've got all these these terrors hanging out here. And your next turn will be nice because you'll play Swamp Vampire Nocturnus. And if we're really awesome. Yeah, in theory, this will work. Let's if, see. Let's see how awesome we are. If we're awesome, there will be a black card on top of Ken's deck. <laughs> and Man! There's, there's not. It's a swamp. Well, I'm going to play this land. Uh, is there anything I want to terror? Does that Angelic Wall need to die? Uh, I think Angelic Wall is fine for now. Alright, well, this Plague Beetle is not inspiring me. I think we need more 1 1s. Uh, yeah, I guess that gets us more damage in the long run. Here's a Plague Beetle. And there. That Swamp Walk ability is sort of nice in Two Headed Giant, as long as there's any Swamp on the other side of the table. Yeah, we had Can't a, be blocked. Yeah, we got creamed by this Underworld Dreams for two. It's doing double duties. Your Merchants of Secrets will hurt more. Hopefully I won't. Oh. Merchants of Secrets gets to attack this time. Yeah. Attack. So many, Whoops. many buttons. Well, we Here gotta we go. get that guy in. Alright, let's do this. Auto pulse tracker damage. That's nice. Unsurprisingly, they block our highest power. And we're power back creature. up to 32. Exciting. Child that Child of Night's doing good work. It's <laughs> giving us our Underworld Dreams uh, buffer. Elspeth seemed to be stuck work. on some lands. You got a third land now. Mm -hmm. Don't think we're really capitalizing on this. This final revels is. Can you scroll zoom in on that? Ooh, that works for everybody. It works great. Awesome. With one ones, I don't think I'll be attacking with my Nocturnus. Uh, is that going after me? That's probably going after me. So this actually works out really well. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to discard the Goliath Sphinx to this Mind Rot. I have to discard two cards. The Goliath Sphinx is going to be one of them. Terra is going to be the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, it's already chosen that, so I'll click on this Terror. The reason why this is so nice is that I have a Zombify in my hand. So now that the Mind Rot took the Goliath Sphinx out of my hand and into the graveyard, well, that's going to make it three mana cheaper for me to get this thing in play. And Elspeth, Liliana, will seem to never attack us this game. Yeah, that's... That uh oh, is... the rack. The rack is on me. So Liliana's hurting us with her little uh, All right. devices. Let me chat about this Evolving Wilds for a minute. I'm going to play this. It gives us the choice of what, what land we want to get. I'm going to go ahead and get a Swamp, because it looks like we have cards like Terror that we might want to play multiples of in the same turn. I've only got one Swamp right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a Swamp so that I don't have to think about that anymore this turn. And I'm going to go ahead and play this Zombify, just like I said I would. And like I said I would, I'm getting this huge Goliath Sphinx. Which I'm pretty excited about. Is it time to final rebels here? Um, we could get in a lot of damage. Oh, does it kill them? Let's uh, see. I guess we could try to do better here. Oh wait, I've got a powered up army. Oh, I think it, Nocturnus is powered up. I feel us like up. it's time. I think it's time. All right, time for final rebels. Because they're yeah. Mm, plus two. Yeah, let's go with the option that is not terrible. Everyone's larger. All right, let's get some creatures in there so that. No. The final revels is making this an impressive attack. <laughs> no, no one wants this turn. Although those... Oh. Right. Whoa. Alright, right. here we go. Coordinated oh. attacks. I guess that... Maybe this wasn't as good a play as I thought it was. 
the Golden Glow Moth and Golden Glow Moth might save him a turn. Holy day! Yeah. Oh, drat. Really? Singing chorus and everything. I am not used to playing around that card. Yes, Elspeth has holy days. How is that? Do we expect more holy days? Or? Well, whenever it's an opportune for us, Elspeth has holy day. Okay. All right, like we can like when you that. have your Nocturnus and you have your final revels. Sure. Perhaps the final revels was greedy. I was not aware that holy day was a possibility. Terror. Oh no! Oh that's no! My Goliath Sphinx. So long, Goliath Sphinx. You worked so hard for Goliath Sphinx. I didn't work that hard. I was. I had some help. The rack is on me. Three. Ouch. Hey, we've got some some kill spells. This is excellent. Hideous end. Non-black creatures. Nothing's black over here. We have the moth. The wall or the knight. That knight's gonna keep a lot of our creatures from attacking. I think it's gotta go. Alright. Well, let's say a hideous end to useful knight. What do you think about the angelic wall? Is it time for it to go too? Yeah, it's, I believe it's time for everything to go. Alright, let's. Yeah, we're gonna. We're going to spend our terror on that angelic wall. So we can get some more damage in here. This is a power down turn for the Nocturnus. Unfortunately. That's all, right. all right, I think I'm ready to go. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe. Oh, I should play this land because Liliana has shown us that she has some mind rots. I don't want to have to discard this land. That would not be good. All right. So our opponents have no creatures with power, yes. so we can attack with everybody. It looks like fences swing. Tracker. One, tracker two. Bam. Oh, the moth? Time for the moth to happen. Spit in the dust. It saw the light. Now that turn is alright. Now, they each have three cards in their hands left, which is not so awesome, but if they do nothing, that is pretty sweet. Sanger Vampire. Man. Some big stuff. I could use a Sanger Vampire right about now. My vampire deck. Oh, this is not monk. going well. All of a sudden the board is clogged with things on the other side. Maybe that was not the best terror. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. Another swamp. And then another swamp on top. See, I've got Darn a... You. Yeah, that's not good for you. I've got this cool Deathbringer Thoctar guy, though. Eh? Oh. Yeah, let's... That is a Deathbringer Thoctar. Uh, creatures die, plus one counters. Remove counters for damage. I think I want to keep this swamp. Because yep. of, of the the rack over here. It's, yep. it's smacking me for three a turn. So we'll just keep the swamp. Sounds fair. So... Let's, is this, is, this might be hard to attack. Let's see. I've got this Plague Beetle, though. Alright, Plague Beetle's cool. With to Swamp attack. Walk, that means if... They've got a swamp. They can't block, so we've got to get it. We got to get our one point in at least. We can, if we send stuff in, they're gonna bite it to the vampire. And then we have the Deathbringer Thoctar, which can reward us for creatures dying. But I'm not sure that that's worth it. Let's see. One, two. Dead, dead. It looks like it's not. I think I, it's not quite. I think worth we should it. wait. Maybe this vampire will turn on next turn. I think that's the thing to Let's wait, wait for. Let's wait for the Nocturnus. Yep. All right, so I don't want to attack. Well, I'm going to get this Plague Beetle in there. All right, there's nothing else to do. Yeah, I guess. Let's, let's, maybe next turn I'll be kinder. Maybe. This is the part of the game where they get to come back a little bit because they've still got cards in their hands. We kind of came out quickly. And we're all spent. Well, we've got cards that go. Oh no! Consume spirit. Hey. So long, Deathbringer Thoktar. Something we can do. That's lame. We get we get four life points. That was an important. Here comes part the vampire. Our... <laughs> the vampire is gonna hit us, so we can't block it. No flyers. And then an Angel of Mercy. Wow, the hits keep coming. This is bad. 
I think we really need that Vampire Nocturnus to turn on, but at this point, I guess it helps. Darn it! Yeah. Vampire's off again. Well, luckily I have this Zombify, which I've got more choices now about what it can get. I think we still want the Goliath Sphinx, though. Yeah, I believe Goliath Sphinx is correct. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this Goliath Sphinx back. Maybe it won't right. get terrored this Se time. Second time's a charm for Goliath Sphinxes. All right, I'm keeping the swamp in the hand for the rack. And one yep. more. If I keep that swamp that's on top of my deck, then I'll uh, be safe from the rack. Unless we get mine rotted again, but in that case, Liliana spent three mana to not do a whole lot to the yeah, board. Yeah, we'll... we'll uh, all right, let's get this plague the beetle. Beetle, in. bam! It's another beetle swing. Didn't expect the beetles to matter so much, but it's kind of a shame that the the other beetle got pacified. And nothing again. All right, Elspeth, Liliana. Why be taking more damage, Megram? Oh, Megram. Okay. This is more. Weird enchantments Liliana cast. Oh. Another pacifism for Goliath Sphinx. <laughs> there would be of no course. fun for Goliath Sphinx. No fun. Let's see, there's a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2. Two, two. We can do some blocks. I think we want to block. Yeah, do we want to block? They're at 16? Wow, they have so many lives. Um, I think we want to block the the monk with the child of night. Monk with Child of Night. Is At this that right? I think we want to trade and gain life here. Like, this is not a race that we're winning right now. Alright, well... Um, maybe I guess the plan is for Vampire Nocturnus to turn on. Yeah, if I lose, demise. the more yeah. vampires I lose and the worse my I think, Nocturnus becomes. Well, I don't think it's time to chump with this Merchant of Secrets yet, because we're not quite dead. Alright. I think we should just take it. Alright, we'll take it. It's interesting to me that the Singer Vampire stayed back. Singer Vampire wants to eat my creatures. Alright, black card on top! Well, how much does that get us here? Let's see, I guess the Child of Night can attack into the Vampire. Yeah. Uh, before we go on, I want to play my Swamp. There's a Megram out there, which will do two damage to me All if right. I have to discard this. Well, I'm not going to. I know you don't, because the Rack means that we don't want tend to play out any more of his cards. We don't want to take damage in our upkeep all the time. Well, the Child of Night's going to give us four life. Is it going to actually keep us alive? Does it keep us alive? We're currently at four. Is that right? I think it barely helps so us. So that, that puts us at eight. There might be some blocks, weird blocks. So we need, we'll need to leave the, the Merchant of Secrets next turn. We'll have to chump the, uh, the Venerable Monk. Why are these vampires monk? that can fight? Uh, okay, you were defense. thinking of just sending the... I think just the child, the child attacks. That, yeah, that's, that makes sense. Alright. Just All right. the child. Well, I'm gonna send in that Plague Beetle just like we always do. Alright. That is all I can do to help. Other than get my guys killed. Alright. He blocks! Hey, that's exciting. It's actually... That's what we wanted to that's happen. That's kind of what I wanted, yep. That is absolutely what we wanted to happen. Alright, their team is looking a lot worse. They have a monk and an angel. Alright. Ship the turn. Unholy strength! Hmm. 5 4, Angel of Mercy. Well, your guys can block. Alright, so. I think we want to have your two pulse trackers double block that Angel of Mercy. Because Angel will get out of hand otherwise. I think Angel is unbeatable for us if you don't do that. Alright. Block C, block C. Alright, well, we're going down to two. Elspeth still has cards somehow. That is vexing. Well, there are probably a lot of holy days okay. judging from us. Sure. Yeah, we're not making her spend those really. Uh, oh no, another really? angel of mercy. I'd rather I... have the holy days, <laughs> like you were saying. Wow, uh, I didn't notice that we died to the rack on my upkeep. Man. Did you notice? No, I think we got Underworld Dreams. Oh, Underworld Dreams did it. Yeah. Wow. 
That, that well, Underworld Dreams did some work. Man, wow. it added up over time. Man. All right, well, you fought hard, Elspeth and Liliana. You defeated R&D. Mm. All right, thanks for Sucks. playing with me, Tom. You're welcome, Ken. Thanks a lot. All right, that'll do it for this edition of Duels. See you soon.